Hey, what's going on, CoinOp TV subscribers? Robert Welkner here, and in this video, I want to talk about my top five favorite Martin Scorsese films. I'll try and make this video brief. I feel like I can talk about Martin Scorsese movies for uh, an hour or two, but I just want to stick it to my top five. And first, I'm going to start with honorable mention before we get to the top five. So honorable mention, this might be a controversial choice is Taxi Driver. Taxi Driver from 1976, starring Robert De Niro, Jodie Foster, Sybil Shepard, Albert Brooks. A mentally unstable veteran works as a nighttime taxi driver in New York City, where the perceived decadence and sleaze fuels his urge for violent action. While I enjoy this movie, and I've seen it many times over the years, I just find it kind of hard to rewatch over and over again so that's why i kind of made honorable mention so with that let's get to my number five pick which is raging bull raging bull from 1980 starring robert de niro joe pesci and kathy mariotti the life and times of boxer jake lamada whose violence and temper that led him to the top of the ring also destroyed his life outside of it. If you haven't seen Raging Bull, make sure you check it out one day. It's not a fun movie to watch. It's boxing, it's brutal, it's violent. The cinematography here is excellent. There's a lot of uh, stuff where the camera's sped up, slowed down, a lot of uh, amazing things with these sound effects that really keep you captivated and hooked uh, within the story, within the structure. Uh, you know, this is just like a movie I saw when I was really young and I didn't really appreciate it probably until I got a little older and I went to film school and I rewatched it over and over again and I kind of really could see what was so great about it. Again, not another fun movie to watch here. A lot of violence, a lot of characters and uh, brothers kind of conflicting against each other, but uh, just outstanding. It's great that uh, Criterion released it on 4K. I'll have to pick that up next time they have a sale. So let's talk about number four, The Wolf of Wall Street from 2013. The Wolf of Wall Street stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Jonah Hill, and Margot Robbie in one of her early roles. Based on the story of Jordan Belfort from his rise to a wealthy stockbroker living the high life to his fall involving crime, corruption, and the federal government. Another great Martin Scorsese film here. The cast, the cinematography, the editing is all on top of the game. The storytelling is really great. This actually got me into wanting to learn and more know more about stocks and bonds and trading uh, when I saw this as sort of a as a kid or at least you know years ago and uh, now I'm a little more into investing as I get older so uh, it's kind of funny but uh, you've probably seen memes from this movie before and uh, if you haven't seen The Wolf of Wall Street make sure you check it out it's uh, it's really fun and just uh, it's kind of funny and depressing and kind of crazy you know all at the same time hard to do in a lot of modern day movies. For number three, I'm going to go with The Irishman, which is his most recent movie that I put on the list. The Irishman is from 2019. Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, Joe Pesci, an all-star cast. Hitman Frank Sheeran looks back at the secrets he kept as a loyal member of the Buffalini crime family. Now, this was a big deal when it was released on Netflix a couple of years ago. This was a high budget of movie. They did a lot of stuff with the special effects where they de-aged and aged up some of the main characters. And it was just kind of interesting to see Al Pacino, you know, kind of younger and uh, Rob De Niro, younger, older version. Of course, some of the special effects may get a little distracting. But story-wise, there's just, there's just something about the story that just kind of like digs deep in, under the layers and under the skin and under the, you know, the mind and, and really sort of sets in. It has a lot of rewatchability. A lot of the Martin Scorsese, Scorsese movies out there to me have a big rewatchability factor. That's why he's like one of my favorite directors. So The Irishman, really great. Let's get to number two, Casino. Casino from 1995, starring Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci, and Sharon Stone. A tale of greed, deception, money, power, and murder occur between two best friends, a mafia enforcer and a casino executive, compete against each other over a gambling empire and over fast living and fast loving socialite. Visually and cinematically, I love this movie. It's just uh, got a big scope to it. We're out in Las Vegas at the casinos, which is automatically going to look great visually with the cinematics and the close-ups of dice and 
cards and things like that being shuffled around. Uh, it's just very interesting to see the opposing uh, forces between Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci and having Sharon Stone kind of in the mix and sometimes in the middle of things as well. And uh, just loving Casino a lot. But my favorite, my number one, of course, has to be Goodfellas. Goodfellas from 1990, starring Ray Liotta, Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci, Lorraine Bracco. The story of Henry Hill and his life in the mob, covering his relationship with his wife, Karen Hill, and his mob partners, Jimmy and Tommy, in the Italian-American crime syndicate. I watched Goodfellas probably once a year. Um, you've, you've, again, you've probably heard about this movie before. You've probably heard about some of the long tracking shots going through the Coca Cabana with uh, the following uh, Ray Liotta and Lorraine Bracco through there. Uh, that's been kind of spoofed and memed many a times. Uh, just breaking out from the fourth wall, talking to the camera, the narration, the narration of two different characters and the two different perspectives is something that just holds the story all together. Uh, it just... Everything about this movie, it's long, it's grueling, it's not happy and fun to watch, but again, Goodfellas is just like a little bit of a cinematic achievement. So there's my top five. Uh, I'd be curious to know what your top five Martin Scorsese movies are. Let me know in the comments below. If you agree, disagree with some of the ones I chose. If I've left some out, let me know in the comments below. Thanks a bunch for watching this video for CoinOp TV. We'll see you next time.